It's me Ian and in today's video I'm continuing my look at the Alfred Hitchcock Masterpiece Collection box set and this is The Man Who Knew Too Much from 1956. Now in 1934 under the same title The Man Who Knew Too Much Hitchcock directed that film 1934 now it's a different script and the story has definitely changed but yes he had success with it then but he wanted to improve it i think and here we have a color version but as i say it is uh different very much from the uh, 1934 version which was very well acclaimed anyhow let's get on 121 minutes so it's a bit longer, definitely, than some some that we've had. And Rotten Tomatoes give it 88%. Yes, and I have to agree, This I really enjoyed this film. I think, you know, after the last one that we'd had, this one just stands out so much more. This is like in the rear window of classic Hitchcock. I, I was really, I've never seen this before at all. I, I knew really next to nothing about it. And um, wow, this film just, I just thought was great. And James Stewart is, is he not, he really always knocks it out brilliantly when he's directed by Hitchcock. He's great. Uh, so um, the screenplay is by John Michael Hayes. And it is uh, from a story by Charles Bennett. And um, D.B. Um, Wynnum Lewis. And of course, it's directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Now, a key ingredient of this film is the music. Um, this, and because particularly in the last scenes at the end, you will see. And we see it at the beginning of the film as well, which reflects partly the original 1934 film anyhow the music is by the one and only bernard herman who is an absolute legend in terms of um doing music scores and that um of course he's worked for hitchcock before uh now he wrote the background music for this um but it's interesting that we see him um performing at the end um um, and Arthur Benjamin Storm Clouds Canata, uh, Sonata um, and this also has um, The Soprano by Barbara Hewitt uh, with the chorus and the London Symphony Orchestra but it's him the composer conducting it yes this this is wonderful to see and if he was so impressed with that he wanted to keep it in um and so they did so that is amazing that we have got this wonderful climax to the film um when we've got this arthur um benjamin um cantata yeah absolutely wonderful it's, it, I love it. I, I, that music, I just absolutely love it. And especially as there's no dialogue for us about, I think it's about 16 minutes. We get the music and all the action. It's, it's great. Absolutely great. Wonderful direction there by um, <laughs> uh, Hitchcock. Um, now, um, let's go into the cast. Uh, James Stewart, he plays... Uh, Dr. McKenna, it's James Stewart. I don't need to go into everything about um, what he's done because we've covered him already. He's just tremendous. He's so natural. And he plays what Hitchcock describes almost as the everyman role, um, which is great. Then now the lead this time, we have got a blonde and it's Doris Day. 
Now, Doris Day, she plays his wife, Joe McKenna, and also um, is a retired singer. Yeah, which is interesting because it adds something in, in sense because Doris Day was a singer. Uh, between 1947 to 1967 in her musical career, she recorded over 650 songs. And she had a cinema career as well. Um, but um, in the, this film, she won an Oscar for the best song with K Sera Sera, whatever will be, will be, which she sings in this film. Fantastic. Twice, actually, we get it, a rendition of it. It is wonderful. And, and she, she got an Oscar for it. Uh, now, just films that stand out that I have to mention. Um, Calamity Jane, she is really known for that in 1953. That is a wonderful film. She's in that. Fantastic. Also, with Rock Hudson, Pillar Talk, she did some more films with him. And a very last film uh, was The Glass Bottom Boat in 1966. She retired um, from films. Um, yeah, and uh, she had a very long life. Um, I think she died in 2019. She was 97. Amazing. What a career. Um, and yeah, she's very good in this. Plays the role brilliantly. I think um, Hitchcock was spot on with his casting there. Um, then we've got Brenda de Bazanzi playing... Lucy Drayton, and she was in notable films, The Entertainer, that um, Laurence Olivier film. Uh, she was also in The Pink Panther, 1963. And lots of roles here and there, TV as well. Um, but yeah, she was in a re very recognisable face. Um, and uh, she's in this. Then we've got Bernard Miles, who plays... Edward uh, Drayton, her husband, uh, in this. And his career went back to 1933. Notable films he was in was in In Which We Serve, a wartime film, 1942, directed by David Lean. Yes, the one of David Lean. Also, Great Expectations, 1946. Again, directed by David Lean. Um, what an association to have with those films. Amazing. Then we've got Ralph Truman, who plays Inspector Buchan. He goes back to 1931, he did. Um, notable films for him, Henry V, 1944. 1944. It's Laurence Olivier, Shakespeare performance. That is considered an absolute classic. Directed, of course, by Olivier as well. Uh, Quo Vardas, 1951. And Exodus, again, this one film pops up a lot, 1960. And another film I really like, historical one, El Cid, 1961. That's a great film. Um, another one um, a bit later is... Nicholas and Alexandra from 1971, another historical film. Excellent. Um, then we've got um, Daniel Gellin um, playing Louis Bernard. He's a French actor. Well, that might not surprise you. He's playing the French part in this film. Um, and um, he's just got numerous French film credits and they're just a lot there. Um, but yeah, it's it's a dominated French film career. Okay, um, just a few more points. Um, Hitchcock makes his appearance. Yes, we've got to have this um, at 25 minutes 42. Uh, we see him watching the acrobats in the Moroccan market. Is there? You're always you're waiting to find it. So 25 minutes, 42 seconds. There he is on screen. Now, locations are quite important in this film. So we've always got the studio, Paramount Studios. 
but we've got locations in London, yeah, you know, you can see it, Heathrow Airport, you've got in Mayfair, Brixton, uh, Camden Town, of course the Royal Albert Hall, which is the climax, is in this film as well, absolutely amazing, and of course, Marrakesh in Morocco, they did that, yeah, the locations, again, this looks, uh, one thing I, I think is, just looks so good the color um this print that they've really done on here on this box set wow it is amazing absolutely did that I, I, yeah the colors everything absolutely fantastic for a film 1956 this is outstanding it really is the blu-ray eye definition is great so what is this film about um well uh, Dr. McKenna, that's James Stewart and his wife, Doris Day, who is a retired singer, yeah, um, with their son, Hank, have been at a conference in Paris and they decided to go for a visit to Morocco, like you do, you know. <laughs> and they find themselves involved in a murder which they witness right in front of them and the murderer uh the one who's murdered gives um some information to him which is very important um but their son is kidnapped hank is kidnapped um by a british couple who are villains yes they look very much to be villains all is not what it seemed and which yeah, I love that about um, uh, Hitchcock, where he's done that, fantastic. And so then the action then moves to London um, as they're trying to search for their son and um, everything starts to escalate and this all leads to an assassination attempt and it is absolutely fascinating watching them going through this with you know trying to find their son the performances are absolutely great and the story just builds to a wonderful absolutely wonderful climax so this film just really knocked me over you know i just i think it was sort of because last week's was a comedy and it just didn't seem to work for me that well and this one just works so well it's it's great and I've not seen this before, so it's a first time watch. I loved it, absolutely. I, I can't talk enough highly about it. it it's, it's really grand. It is absolutely wonderful film. Everything about it works so well. I said the cast and the way Hitchcock has put it all together as usual. It, it really does work. And I, I'm so pleased to have been able to watch this film. And it's highly recommended. It really is. It really got me. It, you know, that's why I got talking up about it. That's just, just wonderful. Um, you know, it blew me away. Literally, I I wasn't expecting it. I mean, Real Window is such a great film, and then this, to me, is is, is equal maybe to Real Window. Yeah. It, this is this is that good you know I, I really think so and it's one that i haven't heard mentioned as much um like the one that's coming up soon vertigo i know he's mentioned a lot i don't know if that could be next week uh i don't know but that is coming up very soon and vertigo is considered one of the classics and north by northwest um but this film I haven't heard mentioned a great deal about but i think it's it should be up there Definitely, I, I was love it. Anyway, I'm babbling on a moment to watch out. I think you've got the message, haven't you? Anyhow, before I go, I always say, Look, here we are. There it is the box set, the wonderful. This week, it does live up to the masterpiece <laughs> tag, yes. Some of them have not been masterpieces for me, but this one, yeah, is. This film was very good. So, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Then we'll let you know when I um, 
produce these videos. Also, have a look in the playlist. You can look at previous reviews of the Hitchcock collection and also other things I'm doing. Just have a look and see what you think. Um, also, if you like this particular video, please give it a like. Um, I guess it out to YouTube, hopefully, and algorithms, and other people might enjoy it, and or perhaps they won't. I don't know. Um, if you've got any comments as well, I'd really love to read your comments. I really do love to read them. And uh, say, all cost note. So you can't say fair than that, can you? Buy it, you can't. And that's it. So all I've got to say is, I'll see you. I'll see you again.